So today I want to talk about really quickly something that I've mentioned briefly on some shorts if you guys have been keeping up with those and even some videos as well but I feel like this topic because of its absurdity deserves a video in its own right so here we are. So you guys have seen the title you guys already know we're going to be talking about the gays or queers for Palestine movement I actually don't know what they call themselves anymore I just call them the alphabet people because it's much easier on everyone to call them that. But regardless, they are pro-Palestine now, and I could point out all of the absurdities with that. I could sit here and make a 20-minute video about how dumb this is, but luckily I don't actually have to go into that uh, very much because some news channel has done that favor for me and is about to show you guys how idiotic this movement actually is. And the reasons that it's going to go over are very solid and I'm going to be commenting on those but I also have something else um, that these people don't realize that I'm going to be mentioning so consider this video to have about uh, two or so points as to why this is absurd so let's just get started and uh, I, I want you guys to stay till the end because this is gonna be hilarious okay important to note during the pro Hamas protest this weekend we noticed an odd flag showing up. It is the rainbow pride flag made to look like the Palestinian flag. <laughs> Banners all over and in many of these marches said gays for Gaza. Do they even know what they are saying? Like... That makes absolutely zero sense. Not even just because of, like, the whole gays for Palestine part. I want to focus on, like, that second part of what they were saying. I, it, what does that mean? And some of the video you can decide for yourself is slightly odd, but we wondered if... Slightly odd? <laughs> I feel like these guys have a death wish. The people who were, were celebrating gays for too. Gaza might want to learn what happens to gays in Gaza. Yeah. Throws them off buildings or drags them behind motorcycles, as you can see in this picture. We have blurred the body of a young gay man who is being dragged through the streets of Gaza. Oh, good. Uh, I and it's show not that just Gaza. In the West Bank, a group beheaded this man, Ahmed Abu Makhoumin, who's a 25 year old gay man. Odd that the gays for Gaza group didn't march then. Nobody seemed to care much. Yeah, because the left didn't buy the whole Jews are oppressors and need to be stopped narrative at that point. So, um, of course, they didn't do anything. On hangs gay systematically. Imams yep. both in the West Bank and Gaza and on yes. Arabic TV channels calls for the murder of gays daily. The irony of this is, this is why I say that they have a death wish. That's why I say that he was going to prove it because he's holy. It's bad. And, like, as much as I am a critic of that movement, right, I am, I am a critic of the LGBTQ movement and a trip through the videos in June and even, like, recent things when I get the chance to talk about them. I'm not very uh, kind in my words. I am offensive to a lot of these people, but... Even with that, even though I disagree with you guys' choices, I disagree with the way that you um, try to make everybody else capitulate and, and just deal with it, how you demonize anybody who doesn't agree, like religious people, I don't want you to support a group that actively campaigns for your deaths that is... That would be awful of me to do. Um, and again, you guys think Christians are terrible, right? But um, this is not something that I endorse, right? This is, I am a Christian. I do not endorse these things. So you can say, oh, you're terrible. You're a homophobe. You're whatever. Um, we're speaking of phobe and them not knowing what that word actually is. I'm going to show you guys an article in a second that I found to be very hilarious. Um, but let's just let this video finish. Of course, pretty rich, right? Hamas and the Palestinians look at gays and Jews about the same. They want to do the same to them that the Nazis did. They talk about them the same way. Yet some oh, they of do. the gay yes. community in America 
are so blinded by their hatred for Jews, they side with the Palestinians. Again, because Jew oppressor now. That, that's why they do that. They don't realize that Israel has the most gay-friendly city in the world and that they are protected over there. I don't know if they realize that the gay Palestinians, these people fight for, have to flee. They don't live there. They flee to Israel. Who want to kill both gays and Jews. Yes. Speaking of hatreds for Jews, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is now finding anti-Semitism problematic. Huh. She pulled out a tweet, she put out a tweet, never mind that she spent the past three weeks all but supporting Hamas. She, of course, voted against the congressional resolution supporting Israel's right to defend itself. Of course. Tomorrow, These people want consistency. There is this side. That is the left, hit, inconsistency. Seismic shift inside the Democratic Party. Democrats who supported Hamas are getting worried. Thanks for watching. Okay, so with that out of the way, I want to talk about that article I mentioned. And the other reason that this whole thing is absurd. So let's see. So, oh, go oh, good lord. I do not like being on this website. The only reason I'm even on here is because of this article. So this this whole article is trash, but I want you to focus on Islamophobic, huh? So I didn't realize it was Islamophobic to point out the things that Islam teaches. I didn't, I didn't know that it was Islamophobic, but hey, don't take my word for it. Um... I had my friend who is Muslim make a video about this topic called Islam versus wokeness. But you know what? Just to uh, just to show you guys, just to give you guys the proof, you can go watch that video. But I'll give you live proof right here. Okay? Let's let's do this. Let's call him. See what he thinks about this. <laughs> okay, what's up, bro? Here. What's going on, bro? Do you think that it is deeply Islamophobic to say that uh, uh -huh. the gays for Palestine, the gays that are marching over there uh, in protest, would get killed if uh, they did that over there? Do you think that's deeply Islamophobic as a Muslim to say that? Do I think that it is deeply Islamophobic to suggest that the homosexuals in Palestine marching about homosexuality do you think do I think it is Islamophobic to suggest that that will result in their death? Yeah, is that bad to say that? Am no, I being racist accurate. saying that? That's accurate. That's accurate. And, and why is that? Why is that accurate? What is what does Islam say about uh, homosexuality? Read Surah Seven. Surah Seven. Okay. First chapter. Can I send you a link to Chapter Seven? Or what? I can use. I can find it very easily. Uh, uh, cause there are some websites that are Chapter 7 verse, uh, what? Go to chapter 7, pull up and go to verse... Uh, start at 80. 80, okay. And remember when we remember when he said... Do you realize you practice an indecency of which no other people in the world were guilty? Can I just educate these guys on what that word means in Arabic? Yeah, go ahead. Arabic is a very... go ahead. So the word there, the word used for world is the word alamin. Now, there is a debate among scholars that alamin means all that has ever been conceived of in reality. Mankind Jinns, everything that could has ever existed and could ever exist. That's what Alamin means. So, so basically, saying, the teaching yeah. is that it's the worst thing that has ever happened, ever. Yeah, the worst, the worst transgression of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's rules that has ever been committed in the whole Alamin, which means the whole, the whole world. No one has ever even conceived of such a thing. Even jinns haven't. Jinn. 
Jinn, the children of Iblis, Satan himself, haven't conceived of this. Haven't thought of doing this. So you're telling me Islam itself is opposed to gay people? Yes. <laughs> Who would have yes. thought? Wow. It is. <laughs> in fact, in fact, if you if you go to my video, there's a hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet ﷺ says that if any of you find someone Two people doing what the as the people of Lut Ali Islam did. What would they do? They were they were being homosexual. Punish them both. It's very simple, very blunt, very pure to the chase. Punish them both. No, it's not Islamophobic to suggest that homosexuals marching, saying gays for Palestine. It is not Islamophobic to suggest that that would result in their death. No, it's accurate. <laughs> See, that's it's what, what I'm Quran saying. Hadith teach. It's what Islam teach. That's what I'm. That's what I've been saying. But no, um, that's that's uh, apparently wrong to say now because their only defense when people rightfully point out that they will die, go over there and see what will happen, right? Is that's just Islamophobic and, and racist to say that? No, it's no. not. No, the Quran calls the people of Lut Mujrimin criminals. <laughs> it calls them criminals. It calls them. They call them polytheists, right? And polytheism is a worse sin in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They call them, Mujrimin means either sinners, polytheists, or criminals. All those things could apply. Criminals. Right. It calls them losers. It does. And, and not, and, and loser ain't like no, like, oh, playground Like playground loser. insult. Hey, that loser. word means no. loser, like, no, that word isn't playing. When someone calls you that word, that's very <laughs> serious. Like you're stupid. You lost so much, and it's all your fault, right? Right. No, if you guys want more details on this, by the way, um, there is a video, video that goes more yeah. in depth because apparently these yeah. guys believe <laughs> they have it in their mind. I don't know why that um, that like the left and Islam and Palestine are just united now, and you know queers for Palestine and all that idiocy. Um, I'm just gonna say, just because you support Palestine. Which is fine and good, doesn't mean we're going to ignore our religious scriptures and Allah's words to please you now, right? You can support Palestine or Israel all that you would want, but if you, no matter whom you support, if Allah says something and you say another, I think I would opt for Allah. You want to know why? Because He can put me in the hellfire. All you guys can do is cry. <laughs> right, and um. Do you think that it? Do you agree with me that it would make more sense for them to support Israel since Israel actually supports yes. them? Yes. Yes, it would make absolute sense for them to support Israel, and the one the reason why is because Israel has a city with the most LGBT people or the most tolerant to LGBT people. Um. So why are you not? Why are yeah. you not supporting? Yeah. And the them? and the gay Palestinians that they're rallying for. Guess where they have to go? Israel. Israel. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope that demonstrates to you guys the absurdity of this movement. Um. I, I feel like the people who say that these people have like a death wish are unironically right because like how are you guys you guys are either super ignorant or actually have a real death wish so in either way that's not good um definitely not I mean I'm not saying that Hamas is good or enforcing the entirety of Sharia because if they were enforcing the entire if, if they were enforcing the entirety of the Islamic Sharia system there would be no killing of non-combatants in war um and there are so many hadith to prove this so I'm not saying that they're enforcing all of the Sharia because I would be a lie and I'm not saying they're entirely good and whatever because I would be a lie I'm saying that this gaze for Palestine movement is absurd and it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard when it comes to islam i want to know how these guys justify this clear perfectly clear now you you read this right yeah, for the first time you this. didn't even know what it said this, this was did, you, per, did you get this. the message did yeah. you get the message perfectly Definitely. clearly yeah what it said can could it have been any clearer <laughs> I, I don't know i don't think so <laughs> it's pretty bad it said this has never happened before like <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, this is stupid. Uh, stop with the gays for yeah, Palestine. Stop, stop with this. Just stop.
Like, I thought this was just, a troll just... when I heard about this, but no, it's, it's, it's real. And it's, <laughs> yeah, fact. It's that, real. That sounds like something that they, you and I would have said out of stupidity. <laughs> they were, they were <laughs> waving like a, a pride flag at the Palestinian marches, and then they got sad because, like, some guys that were uh, Muslims ripped it off and destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, and that's gonna oh, happen. That's... You guys are dumb. Um, and, and... You heard it here from a Muslim, not not a Christian. A Muslim said this to you and made a whole video about it, which check that out. It's called Islam vs. Wokeness. Uh, with that, um, unless you have anything else to say on the subject, uh, I'll, I'll be ending this. No, that's it. Right, I'll see you guys in the next one.